Hello. So we are back Wednesday and I'm back to work. Only for today. They call me again and say, look, I have too many jobs here and uh, it's like 12 past 9 and I'm here alone because obviously everyone is coming like half past 9. And uh, we have a nice laptop. This is a nice one. Look, it's it, it's maybe every laptop is nice on his way. You know, it's same like with the women's. Every woman, it's 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 special on a different way. Yeah. So everyone is special. Same with the laptops. This is an Asus laptop. i7 Nvidia graphics, 144 hertz display. Mm, yeah, this is a good one. It's a gaming Asus laptop. TUF gaming i7 agent okay so we have to fix this look here what i seen when i check the receipt i seen a bump on the receipt but after that i called so look here okay the some screws are missing but look what is here i'm not trying to be funny but what's this it's like Maybe you, you can't see it. One second. Let me let me let me switch to microscope. What's this? This ship was like ripped off with the trucks from the board. And I call and I ask about this uh, about this laptop, and uh, he said, "Oh, I don't know. I'm just, the, the customer just ripped off the chip, <laughs> like you know, like." <laughs> anyway, we have to fix it. It will be the BIOS chip. Can be the BIOS chip. Can be because this has a dual BIOS. Can be. Well, let's see. Let's le leave the chip on one side. Open this and see what's going on. So it's saying no display. So I suppose the laptop is coming on, but I haven't checked. I will check. But first, let's see what the ship is doing. I mean, why you will do something like that? It's not like accidentally you rip off the chip because you know there are all eight pins. Like eight pins is not like it's not like a resistor. Like by mistake you uh, you throw it from the board. It's, it's not like that. It's like a big chip. Or this is another customer trying to replace the bio chip. Who knows? Remember the desktop? Uh... Okay, let's see this one. Let's open. I suppose the back is coming out, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think the back is coming out. Oh, yeah. We had one like this before. You remember the one with the... Uh... Oh, yeah. The one with the with the with the li uh, liquid metal under the, the the chip under the the video RAM memory, you remember? The battery is took out, so someone obviously opened this. Most likely the customer has a seal here, so no one opened the board, or at least no one opened the the heatsink. And our chip is from where? Do you see any chip missing from here? Oh yeah, I can see it. So look, it's exactly there. No, that's not the buyer chip. That's the chipset memory. Okay? So the chipset has a small BIOS. And that can explain why the laptop is coming on but has no picture. So the chip is supposed to be there. You can see it and it's missing. So I have no idea how he did he did it, you know, just how he tried what? Because you see the the the, the seal is intact. So no one tried to take out the heat sink to say okay, you try to take out the heat sink. Who knows? Let's open and try to fix this. Hmm? 
Yeah, the what we can do. Nothing. I mean, if you have a laptop, why you don't you j just use it? Just play games, you know, have fun. What's the point opening the laptop to rip up that 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 chip? I can see the heat things are clean. Oh, yeah, that's a hit sink. Mm, it's not that bad, the thermal paste. But how do we fix that? Mm. Let me get the fun out. You know what, we should try and power it on, but it's too late for that. Yeah. I'm sure it will not work. So, let's figure it out. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's the one. So what do we have there? But you know what, I can't do it like that. Because I have to see through the microscope. Like that. It's not that bad, but not that good either. So the problem is, we have like that, yeah? We have this truck. Okay, this is gone, it's coming here and on these resistors, okay? Well, this is gone, this truck. I'm just try to rip off the truck, okay? Nice one. Now we have this truck and we have a truck here. This is good and we have this one, but this one we have like a short thingy there to solder the tr the, 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 the wire, yeah? To rebuild the truck. This one. This will be a little bit of a uh, problem. But let's start. Hey, Nata! Really, Munchesk? My colleague just came to work. Give me a second. Okay, 
So I just found out he spoke with the customer and they said, look, the customer tried to replace the, the solid state hard uh, the drive. Pretty weird. Okay, let's do it. So what I will do. So this this truck is a problem this one well, I think we can do it we still have a bit of copper here okay then we have the resistors then we have this truck I can solder the wire there and here I can solder I can solder the pin straight here It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay, let's use some flux. I will use Amtec flux because I have to see what's going on here. Okay, so that truck, we sold that, that truck. This one the same, and this one yeah, pretty straightforward. Okay, let's use a bit of wire. Okay, this one will be tricky because when we will try to solder the wire, it will get this solder. So I should try something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that will be my. Okay, good. Then we have this one. This should be easy. Okay, which is coming there. Let's get the chip. The chip position. Okay. So most likely the chip is like that. Actually you can see here the mark on the board, so I suppose the chip is like that. Good. Now let's try. No, I know the trucks are still there. I didn't, didn't took out the trucks, I know. Because you see like here, I want some... Uh, you see, something like that. So now we don't have to use wire. This one, it's with this one, yeah? And this one is here. Perfect. And this one has to come here and here. Well, my, my hands is shaking. Okay. 
like that. Without this memory, the chipset doesn't know how to work. Okay, that's why this is important. Perfect. Okay, absolutely perfect. I just want to be sure that track is soldered. It is now let's clean. Let's use a little bit of hot glue to be sure that uh, it will never get the solder again. You see, that's why I don't like this flux, you know, the Amtec flux, you can't clean it. It's sticky and... It's... I don't like it. it, it it's more... It's more nice to work with, uh, with Rosin. Rosin, you know, is getting uh, you know, like glass when it's, uh, when it's drying, when it's cooling down. So we have that thingy. Let's plug the... Let's plug the fan because we have to test before we are replacing the thermal paste and yeah we have to be sure it's working. Let me just feed the hissing just for testing. I don't understand why this is bent. Perfect. We have one screw here. One here, one here, and the last one. Let's see, the battery is still charged. It's working or not? Power. And it's nothing spinning, it's nothing working. Okay, let's come with the power supply. 19 volts. We need amps here. So let's see, 5 amps should be fine. 
ground plus and it's taking 1.7 1.8 4 amps and the laptop is on and it's working it's displaying it's going off because probably got to get a bias reset boy 4 point something amps it's a lot and now it's loading the windows you can see laptop is fixed but look how many amps it's, it's getting like 4 point something amps it's a lot well, obviously this is a gaming laptop so the package the graphics and processor together uh, you know yeah it's working clearly it's working uh, even the battery has power let me switch it off yeah it's off okay so what do you think pretty easy obviously the gaming laptops they come with a different price on the repairs compared with uh, the normal laptops yes yeah, sir that's Julia okay okay let's uh, let's change the, the thermal paste so what do I care it's about uh, you know I care about the, the thermal transfer it get it's, it's, it's not dry it's not like the thermal paste has to be replaced but obviously we open the laptop so we have to replace it I have Arctic Silver MX4. This looks okay. We used b before uh, MX2, but MX4 looks just a little bit uh, more better compared with MX2. Just a little bit of thermal paste, just to be sure it's, uh, it's covering the whole chip. You know, the when it's about a the thermal paste, you'll see different people, different way to apply thermal paste. I'm the guy who want to be sure the entire chip is covered in, uh, with thermal paste. But there is it's another opinion and most of the people they have uh, you know let's drop let's put a drop and uh, when you put a heat sink the drop will spread but that's not right that's the thing yeah so if i come with a heat sink let's say i will use only one drop in the middle yeah and i come with a heat sink like that and i'm applying pressure like that my drop it will go on this side so i will have like naked chip on this side that's why you know I'm covering completely the chip, so I don't care about the position how I I, I put the hits in. Same with the big desktops. But of course, everyone' uh, opinion can be different, but that's from my experience. I open so many desktops from people applying thermal paste, and I found like a spot. Like only here, a little bit of thermal paste, and most of, most of the chip empty. Yeah, it was no thermal paste at all because they apply the heating probably on one side, and obviously the 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 thermal paste get uh, pushed out. Just think, like the probability to apply the heating on the processor perfectly parallel is nearly zero. <laughs> yeah. Just, just think about that. It's nearly zero.
So I know this thing we apply in thermal paste is like a can of worms. Well, in the end of the day, you know, all this matter is uh, a good thermal transfer. Because it's not like the processor it will get burned. No. Processor are protection. If the processor is getting too hot, it will shut down. But it will not get burned. Okay. This is in place. Uh, I think I used the wrong screw. And I know which one is wrong. I think this one is wrong. I think it's longer than uh, than normal. This one was the one with the seal. I think this one is from here, yeah. That's a, that's a. Boy, for a dose, eh, Shmo? Okay, let's check the hinge screws. If it's something what I hate, is people getting late to work. You know, it's like... It's like, you know, it's... Okay. <laughs> the screws. So this is a Asus uh, model FX705G. So if you have this, uh, if you have this laptop, now you have to pay attention uh, when you play with the board. Okay, I'll try to find more screws. Okay, so it's working. Pep password. I didn't ask for password before. Okay, that can make sense. That can make sense. So if the pa this, the customer doesn't know the password, probably he tried to remove the password and he thought that's the bio chip. That's weird because when I start the level, we'll start loading the windows. Anyway, it's his problem. My problem was to make this displaying. Okay, so I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video.
and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.